let's talk about living on Snoqualmie Pass. We're going to go through everything from history, cost of living, real estate, and lifestyle. So if you're thinking about moving to Snoqualmie Pass or just want to know a little more about the area, this is a video for you. I'm Amanda Dahlman, a local real estate agent in the area, and you can find my information here and in the description below. All right, let's jump right into some history of Snoqualmie Pass. So back in the 1800s, Snoqualmie Pass was sacred trading grounds for the Native Americans. And then in 1909, the Milwaukee Railroad came in. And in 1914 is when they revamped the railroad and they put the three mile long tunnel 400 feet below grade. This tunnel is still there today, but not used by the railroad. It has been um, transformed into the Cascade to Palouse trails. This is still a really fun, popular spot for people to take their kids, hikes. We see it as a starting point for a lot of marathons. Um, so back in the 1920s is when people from Seattle started to come up and ski. And Hayak used to be the main hub of Snoqualmie Pass. And they would ride the train up, get off, hike up the hill. It wasn't until 1937 when the first lift was put in. Uh, there's still a little bit of that history there on Snoqualmie Pass. The Bavarian Castle, which is now condos, used to be the post office. Now today, Snoqualmie Pass has modernized and there are five different ski base areas. There are full service restaurants, breweries, micro grocery stores, pizzerias. Um, in the last 10 years, there's been a lot of development and there's still a lot more in planning phases to come. It's only reported that Snoqualmie Pass has a population of 430 people, but I believe it to be a little bit larger than that. It is a tight knit community. The neighbors know um, everyone and they're constantly throwing block parties and get togethers. The summit at Snoqualmie has also expanded their recreation use to um, lift access mountain biking in the summertime and they're also doing outdoor series concerts, which is a lot of fun. So beyond the recreation that Snoqualmie Pass has, there really is a great community up there. Now, if you're living on Snoqualmie Pass, commuting is probably going to be a big part of your lifestyle. Um, the closest grocery store is in North Bend, which is about 20 minutes away. There's also a grocery store in Cleelum, 30 minutes away. If you're trying to get to a bigger metropolitan area, such as Issaquah, that's going to take you about 40 minutes. But you can get to Seattle in just about 50 minutes. So it's a real easy place to commute, but you're going to be putting some miles on your car. One thing to note about commute with Snoqualmie Pass is you're on I-90 and really easy to access. Um, you can be to Seattle really quickly or you can get to the desert in an hour going east. But I-90 is also the main corridor for everybody in Seattle who goes east to vacation. And that's where the majority of the camping and outdoor recreation happens. So in the summertime, um, Fridays and Sundays, that freeway can get jam packed. And in the winter time, it's all depending on the snow. If there's a lot of snow, there's pass closures. A lot of this traffic stuff can be pretty predictable. And if you're living up there, you're going to start understanding the patterns and kind of know how to schedule around it. Well, since we've talked about livability, we need to talk about the cost of living. And since I'm a real estate agent, let's talk real estate. Snoqualmie Pass's real estate has exploded over the last couple of years, um, more than doubled through this extreme real estate market. In January 2021, the average price per square foot was $333. That fast forward two years to January 2023, and that has skyrocketed to the average price per foot of $735. Now it has dropped a little bit in this last year with the high interest rates and we're hovering right around $656 a square foot. So it might not be a bad idea to purchase a home on Snoqualmie Pass if you're thinking about doing so. Um, let's take a look and see what your money can buy on Snoqualmie Pass. Take a look at these homes. <music> Let's compare. 
compare the home prices of Snoqualmie Pass to nearby areas and see how it stacks up. North Bend, Washington is just a skosh higher at $1,087,000. Cleveland, Washington's current home price, average home price, is $1,122,000. And Easton, Washington, $622,000. Might be a spot to look if you're looking for a bargain. As you can see, Snoqualmie Pass, it's really averaging for the area. Now, real estate isn't going to be the only thing that impacts your cost of living. So let's take a look at payscale.com and see what they're saying about the overall cost of living on Snoqualmie Pass. As you can see here in this chart, it is saying that living on Snoqualmie Pass is about 37% higher than the national average. Housing, 60% higher. Utilities, 6% higher. Groceries, 25% higher. And transportation, 23% higher and I bet it's actually a little bit higher than that for transportation because if you're commuting to Seattle you're commuting at least a hundred miles a day now if you're thinking that Snoqualmie Pass is a place that you want to move to or possibly invest in give us a call our contact information is down in the description below if not make sure to subscribe to this channel as we're exploring all different areas located throughout central Washington Thanks for joining us.